comes in here with tomorrow's tech. Today, I want to share this special little kit that I got uh, from Digital Guard Dog. Ordered it off Summit Racing. It's a universal set. This is the intelligent key system. This is going to give us push button start in our 68 Chevy C10. It's going to give us a security system and it's going to give us power uh, with the keyless remote. This uh, kit has a proximity sensor, so whenever you get within proximity of the sensor inside the kit with the remote key in your pocket, it'll automatically unlock the doors like the newer luxury vehicles do today. And then at that point, you get in, put your foot on the gas, push the button, start the ignition, you're ready to go. We've got a carbureted unit on our 68C10, so this is going to be a little interesting. Uh, but from what I read in here, there's a calibration process to calibrate to the time that your vehicle starts. So, uh, interested to see how that's going to work out. And because we didn't install power windows, or I'm sorry, I installed power windows, but I didn't install power locks yet. So, I would recommend going ahead and getting this uh, Digital Guard Dog. Uh, it's a heavy duty actuator power set. So, we're going to go ahead and install these too. So before we get out and install them, I'm going to move the camera around over here so you guys can watch. I'm going to go ahead and unbox everything and uh, show you what all comes in this kit. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the intelligent key ignition system first. As you open it up, you can see everything's all laid out all nice and neat for you. Pretty fancy looking. So we're going to start off with the key remotes. The cool thing about these key remotes it does have a remote start function. You can hold two buttons at once to actually start even a carbureted uh, engine. Uh, the cool thing is, uh, you reach down here and hit these, uh, hit these. You can pull the key fobs out just like you would a regular car. Um, it's got a little blank built onto them right now. Uh, what you do is you take your original door locks, you pull these out, remove the blank, and then you can install your uh, your keys that you already have to get into the doors of your vehicles right now. So that's a really cool function that you can do with these. Um, you've got two emergency bypass cards. So this kit is actually going to have a sensor. Uh, I'll show you that here in a minute that you're going to mount under the dash. So in the event that the batteries go dead and you keep one of these uh, in your wallet, You'll be able to take this and put it just like you do on a on a business building or something. It has a car reader that needs to get into the building. You'll just sit and hold it over the device and it'll unlock your doors for you automatically with these. That's a great feature to have. Here are the first electronical guts that we're actually going to be placing into our 68C10. We don't have any fancy stuff in it yet other than basic power windows and things like that. So this is going to be the first brain that we're actually going to install in this truck. It does not have GPS, so if that's one thing that you guys are worried about, installing new tech in your older vehicle, this does not have the GPS built into it. However, it does have an additional add-on module that you can add to this kit to add GPS tracking on it if you decide that you want to do that. Alright, now we're going to dig under here. Alright, so first thing you're going to get in here, you're going to have your installation manual. There's your legend. <coughs> Here's all your different pieces. It gives you a bunch of information. We're going to do an install video, so I'm going to show you guys everything. This has a lot of extra features that we won't be using, but if your car does have some of these other things, so like for instance, a door trigger. Uh, you know, if you have a door trigger built in that uh, allows your system to know that your doors are open, you know, there are ways to hook that stuff up. So, yeah, pretty basic uh, information here. Looks like it's uh, pretty good to... Uh, Okay. All right. So if you want to register online, right here to activate your prod your products. This is a really quick uh, quick guide to show you what everything is. Let me make sure you guys can see that right. Get you right in view here, so you can get a better look at it. 
Alright. Got some uh, DIY installation stuff on the back. Here's our user guide. This teaches you everything about uh, what you can do with this kit. So it's got a lot of really good stuff in here. That's what I was showing you about pulling the keys out. It's got blanks on it first, and you can put the uh, original keys in it. So yeah. Now we're gonna bust into all the goodies here. All right, so it looks like we have a couple uh, of antennas here. These are probably gonna be the receiver antennas. This looks like one that you can stick towards the back of the vehicle. This looks like one that you can keep in the front so you can have a little better coverage. Um, if that's the case, and I'm pretty sure that's what it is, uh, I'll be installing one in the back and one in the front, like here. This uh, looks like the shock sensor module. Uh, and let's just make sure. Yes. Alright. So this is, uh, this is our dual stage uh, sock shock sensor module and it will have a spot here that you can adjust for your sensitivity if you want to do so. Normally these get uh, mounted on your steering column so we'll see about that here shortly. Uh, and yes, these are the proximity antennas. Uh, looks like we've got two of these. Uh, this is the emergency bypass antenna, okay? So this is going to be the one that you hold your cards to. Uh, this will get mounted up uh, somewhere in the dash close to the wind windshield so that we can get into it if we ever need to use one of the cards. Alright, so it looks like we got some pigtail harness here. Alright, that's going to be the fun stuff right here. That's going to be our uh, start-stop button. It's going to be really nice to have push to start in this old truck. Okay, here's uh, all of our harnesses, accessory output harness, uh, primary accessory harness. This one's got the, all your fuses and everything built into it. Uh, here's another accessory input harness. Here's your power harness, and just another harness, not sure what it is yet, but we'll figure that out as we do the install. Okay. Alright guys, we're going to tuck all this back in. This kit isn't uh, isn't cheap. It was about 550, six maybe 600 after taxes, something like that. I don't have any sponsorship, so we purchase all this stuff with our own money, and then I show you guys how cool it is in my videos. All right, so there's this portion of the kit. Now we're gonna jump over to the two heavy-duty actuator kit. These are going to be our power door locks. Alright, so in this kit it's going to come with a module, uh, probably if you don't have the power windows or you don't have the other kit. So it's got the module with trunk release output. So uh, this, uh, this isn't uh, near as complicated as the other kit. It's going to be pretty straightforward. So here we're going to have our actuators. These are going to pop the windows up and down. Same here. This is a pretty universal kit. 
So here we go, we've got a couple of door rods here. And we've got a couple mounting kits. These normally get uh, mounted like so, you know, according to your application. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this in a 1968 Chevy C10 pickup. Here's a little bit of hardware in here for that. So yes, that is everything that comes in that kit as well. This kit wasn't near as much, it was like 60 bucks from Summit Racing. I just wanted to get everything to match. That's why I went ahead and got the Digital Guard Dog matching kit. Alright guys, so if you're thinking about picking one of these kits up, this is, uh, this is what you're going to get inside the kits. Just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, little peek here at uh, what all comes in them. So if you uh, want to stay tuned and uh, watch the, the video, I'm going to do an installation on these and show you guys how to install it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And while you're at it, check out some of my social media pages below and the new videos I got coming out next.